I brought something here, if I can hide for a moment. I have brought this. Now, who knows what this is? What is this? Louder. It's an American girl doll. It is not a doll. It's an American girl doll. If you have not had a preteen or been in your preteen girl in the last 25 years, you know nothing about this. But this is not a doll. It's an American girl doll. This is Nellie. Nellie has a name. She's friends with Molly and Samantha. <laughs> she lives in New York City about 1907. And you go, Bill, you're out of your mind. The founder of American Girl is a lady named Pleasant Roland. What a great name, Pleasant. She went to the store about 25 or 30 years ago now to buy a doll for her nieces. She saw the Cabbage Patch dolls, and she saw the Barbie dolls, and she said, I don't want my girl nieces to think they have to look like this, and I'm not so interested in them turning a doll into a rag. I want them to interact. And she said, there's no dolls to interact and to have relationship and, and to build into the family. So she developed the American Girl doll. Walmart has tried to do it, Target has tried to do it. All of them have failed at it, why? Because if you were to ask Pleasant Roland, what do you do at American Girl doll company? She says, we build relationships. We do not sell dolls. The selling of dolls is to build relationships. Why? Because when you buy Nellie, Molly, Samantha, whatever, you girls know who they all are, I can't remember them all. When you buy her, what you're buying is a book about her. You're buying where the box is made so only an adult can open it up. You know, nowadays they have those preform and you just open it up and you tell your kids or grandkids, take it and go play with it. They can't take it and go play with it. Mom, dad, older sister, older brother, aunt and uncle have to take it apart and hand it to you. And then there's a book, and you have to read it if your preteen is too young. They make it just hard enough that an adult or an older teen has to read the book. Why? So that you're interacting with your young girl. It is an amazing thing. And they have been incredibly successful, and I can give you all the business side of it. She even spends more money on her packaging, they do, so that there's an interaction in opening the package. Because at the end of the day, she felt that there was no relationship between the younger girls and the older members of her family. So I stand up here, and you go, Bill, what are you doing? And the skeptic would go, you're selling religion. You're selling the gospel. Oh, you do it for free, but you're up here selling it. I have to tell you, I'm not. If I am selling anything, it's a relationship. It's a relationship that Jesus Christ has opened the way and the door the living way, so that you and I can have relationship with the Almighty God. You can take religion and take it and move over here and not ever interact with the Almighty God. As I could, my daughter could take a doll and go into her room and interact with it and never interact with the giver of the doll, me or my wife or a grandmother. That's your choice, but God has called us through Jesus Christ, to come together between man and woman, humanity, and the Almighty. And he's brought us together. And he's asked us to stir up each people, each other, so that we do it as well. So that we encourage each other to meet the Almighty. Not to meet the doll, not to meet just the facts about our religion, but to meet the creator of the world. And you and I have that grand opportunity personally to do that and to share it with others. So when you're sharing your faith, don't just share the facts. Don't just share the doll. Don't just share the religion. Share the relationship.
and Pleasant Rowland said she considered success when a daughter got to know her mother better, when a daughter got to know her uncle better, her older sister, whoever was interacting because of that doll. In Christian life, it's getting to know God better. Not just getting to know the Bible better, which is perfect. Not just getting to know each other better, which is great, but getting to know the Almighty God. And if we do that, then we can share it with others. There's nothing that a preteen girl loves more than sharing her American doll with someone else, another preteen girl. It's an amazing thing. You and I need to be sharing the love of Christ with other people because we have the relationship with the Almighty God, not because we sit in church on Sunday morning. Amen? Amen. Let's pray together.